Hey guys and welcome to a brand new lesson. I hope you've been keeping well. Uh, today I want to show you a really cool lick that combines um, a rhythm of six and a rhythm of five. So for you guys uh, who are well studied you'll know that something that contains six notes per beat is called a sextuplet and something that cont contains five notes per beat is called a quintuplet. So we're essentially going to learn how to blend those two rhythms uh, side by side. And if you think about a rhythmic scale, if you're going through them, so quarter notes, eighth notes, eighth note triplets, sixteenth notes, when you reach the quintuplets and the sextuplets, they're also side by side on the rhythmic scale. So this is really cool to um, allow you to just build that close relationship between them. So a lick of six and a lick of five. So if we bring up the first example, we'll see that we're using a paradiddle diddle, which has got six notes, right, left, right, right, left, left. And then we're going to be combining it with a slightly shortened version, so we're going to snip away the last left hand to create a quintuplet. Right, left, right, right, left. We're going to play four of them per bar, and it ends up sounding like this. So if you're listening carefully, when you dip um, from the sextuplets dip down into the quintuplets, you'll hear it just slows down ever so slightly. Or well, it's more an illusion because you're just losing one note, so it kind of feels like it's expanded a little bit into a quintuplet. So let's play this one fast now, let's build up some speed. Nice, that's exercise one. So let's look at uh, exercise two, and it's a similar concept. We're still blending sextuplets with quintuplets, and this time we're going to be doing a double power diddle, which is right, left, right, left, right, right. And of course, that will flip onto a left handed side left, right, left, right, left, left. So there's your double power diddle, and then we're going to be um, arranging it uh, very slightly, just rearranging it slightly into a quintuplet, which will be right, left, right, left, left, and that will actually stick on the right hand. So the first part is going to shift from side to side, and then the quintuplet will stay on the leading hand, which is right. So let's play it slowly. Nice, okay, so we'll hear that one fast. And uh, yeah, hopefully it'll give you something to work on over the next couple of days. Okay, great. To make them a little bit harder, you can play an accent um, which would fall on every quarter note beat. That kind of gives it that that like sharpness uh, at the beginning of every every phrase. Um, you could go faster or even playing it slower. And for most of my students, they just find that going from a sextuplet into a quintuplet is just a really weird gear shift. So that was the purpose of today's class. Let me know how you get on. You know, leave some comments uh, below. Any questions you might have, I'll answer them. And also, please hit subscribe, which uh, the links are now on the screen. Anyway, guys, cheers. Have a good day. See you soon.